Ladies and gentlemen, American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. Well, Drees apparently has got the uh, frontline dibs into the IRS Development Center down in Covington. That's that big area. They tore down that big, long, skinny building out on 4th Street. And they tore it all down. There's grass there and that. And they want to develop it. It looks like Drees, and that's the carriage home. Going to have homes, businesses, all kinds of neat stuff right there. Okay, in Ohio news, the big election results. Uh, the big one was Marino beat Matt Dolan 50 to 33. Frank LaRose only got 13% of the, uh, the seats. Um, all the other, all the other races I'm not going to be worried about. Supreme Court I want to cover. Uh, the Supreme Court is Forbes 68%, Jameson 36%. This is the Democrat who will run, uh, for the open seat in the state of Ohio. So they're going to keep this seat. Folks, I'm telling you, if you care about people in the state of Ohio, you want to elect the Democrats to the Supreme Court. As somebody who fights for the little guy, the Republicans on the Ohio Supreme Court are bought and paid for by corporate health care. I'm just telling you, they are. You want justice, you vote for Forbes. And you vote for Donnelly, who's sitting there. The Durrani victims would be up a creek without Dolly there. All right. David Taylor won the big congressional. He's the concrete man. He won uh, the congressional seat, Brad Winstrup. Hamilton mayor, the police chief, is going to become the city manager of Hamilton. How do you like that? There is uh, some discussion afloat to expunge all low-level uh, criminal cases in Cincinnati. Why? Because employers don't like it. In North College Hill, the top city administrator... Uh, has um, resigned. Jennifer Eckie resigned effective March 27th. Oh, Diane Mullins beat incumbent Representative Sarah Carruthers, too. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a knavish, dull-eyed clod.